Hey, John Filippi here again. And if you're at this point, it's because you set your GDI domain name. You created your domain name. And I'm going to show you how to photo all that. Uh, but first, you're going to set up your AWeber account. Okay. The reason why we use AWeber, okay, and AWeber is an autoresponder that's going to be able to follow up with your leads, okay, uh, is because you need to capture your leads information you need to capture your prospects information because when you're out there posting ads okay you need to capture capture your, your prospects information you need to capture their name their number their email so you can follow up with them okay because the the fortune is in the follow-up okay I'm sure you've heard of that term and that's true the fortune is in the follow-up okay if you don't have your uh, you know if you're posting a bunch of ads and people going to your video presentation and you have no way of tracking who came how to contact them you're not gonna make money as quickly as you would like but when you capture their information you'll be able to follow up with them send them an email send uh, make a phone call to them get them to sign up so you can make money quickly okay and Aweber it was a big part of me earning uh, six figures in 2013 okay so that's why we chose a Weber I'm gonna show you how to set that up so you guys could start making some money with it okay so directly below this video you're gonna go ahead and click on where it says click here to set up your a Weber okay so it's gonna bring you to the a Weber page and what you're gonna do is you're gonna look on the right hand side the top here where it says free trial so you're gonna go ahead and click on that okay and then you're gonna be over here where it says start your free trial okay now you're gonna be able same thing with the the key marketing network um, the and the GDI the domain that you just got as well you're gonna get a free trial now with Aweber instead of seven days you're actually gonna have 30 days free okay so this way you'll be able to start generating leads getting signups and start making money before uh, your next payment is due okay so it's gonna say select the plan now it's free for 30 days and then after 30 days it's nineteen dollars a month okay so you can't go wrong with that I mean if you get one person to sign up into Z and Z and the Z and Z, Z, and Z 2 and the Z and Z big cash you're gonna make over a hundred dollars okay one person if you can't get one person for the month then you shouldn't be doing this business anyways okay so but that's not going to be the case here so you're going to pick a plan if you want to pay three months up front they give you a discounted price for thirty two dollars if you want to pay for the whole year up front they give you it for one seventy seven sixty five okay so pick your your poison uh, I'm gonna keep it right here at one month free so then you scroll down and you're gonna go ahead and create your account okay so you're gonna create a login name okay Put in your first name, last name, email address, phone number, uh, website URL is optional. You don't have to put a website address in there. Okay. Company name is optional too. You could either put Key Marketing Network or you could just leave it blank. Or if you have your own business, you could put that in there too, your own marketing business. Okay. Then you're going to put your billing in, in, information in. Again, you're not going to be charged at all. You're going to have 30 days. And then uh, you're just gonna put in your card information, okay? So if you do not, you know, want to keep the Aweber, okay? Let's say you're not interested anymore. This is not for you. There's a toll-free number where you can call, and you can cancel out, and you will not be charged, okay? So that's not gonna be the case, though. You're gonna go ahead and make money with this system as long as you put in the work okay so you, after you enter in all your information you're gonna go ahead and complete my order press on that okay after you put all your information in it's gonna say thanks for your order now it's gonna uh, pop up with to this page where it says before you log in watch this video uh, you don't have to watch it just go ahead and, and scroll down it just talks about building your list and they want you to order something for $29 you do not have to get that whatsoever so just click no thanks there might be another thing down here just no thanks so go ahead and click on no thanks because we're gonna show you here how to build a list with the key marketing anyways okay then it's gonna bring you here congratulations on joining a Weber you're gonna see your information okay you wanna make sure that you write down your username and your login information all that stuff 
so you can get back in. You're going to need this information, okay, so you can log back in to AWeber, okay. So at this point, you could go ahead and click on the sign in, okay. So you want to go ahead and sign in. You already got your free trial, um, so you're going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, you'll be at the login page where you sign in. Okay, to find in, uh, you, if you don't have your login information, all you got to do is you go to your email. AWeber is going to send you an email. If you can't find the email, go into your spam. Okay, sometimes it goes into your spam or your other. If you have Gmail, go into your promotions or whatever. And you're going to look for an email that says from AWeber customer support. Uh, your AWeber account is ready. And it's going to say thank you for your purchase. And then you're going to see your login information here. And then password. Okay, so you want to write that down. Okay, with your password, it is case sensitive. So just make sure if there's any capitals, you put in the capitals. If there's any lowercase, make sure it's in lowercase. Okay. Okay, once you're logged in, there's going to be a little video here. Uh, you do not need to watch this video. Okay, go ahead and click skip this video. Okay, because I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to create your AWeber forms and get yourself going. So over here, it's going to say company name. You could put in, if you have a, a company name, that you use that you want to brand yourself you can go ahead and do that if not you can utilize the key marketing network is fine key marketing your company website you could put in the GDI domain that you that you chose www uh, also uh, your information your address and all that should be already plugged in there what sender name and email address should appear with your email so when you start sending emails out through Aweber how do you want your name to look okay so you put your full name on the top senders email now very important they're not gonna allow you to use a, a, a Yahoo or hotmail or anything like that um it says you know do not use like emails like gmail and stuff like that because of the fact that what happens is in most cases um you know with, with yahoo especially when you start sending emails out to your prospects um it goes into their spam so we want to try to avoid going into the spam you want them to receive your you don't want that going to the spam so that's why they they say avoid using yahoo uh hotmail a uh, gmail is okay i use gmail or you know you with the gd domain you could actually create your own unique email as well okay so um, it won't let you use a Yahoo so make sure it's a Gmail or if not if you want to create your own unique email through GDI you might as well you got it you get it in your package with your domain anyways you can do that or a Gmail is fine okay so for example I'm gonna stick with my Gmail account what would you like to name your list so your list is basically going to be your list where all your opt-ins come in, where your subscribers are coming in. So you can name it, you know, basically whatever you want. So I'm going to name my list. Let's say uh, I'm, I'm posting on Craigslist and I want to track my Craigslist leads. So you just put Craigslist leads. Okay. So I, that's what I'm going to name this one. Okay. And then you're going to um, briefly describe email okay you could briefly describe the emails your subscribers are going to receive just put you know work from home if you want to you know add to it that's fine just use that as an example okay so you go to next approve your confirmation emails now with the confirmation emails you want to turn this off only because of the fact that um you want to be you want to make sure that all your subscribers receive your emails okay you don't want um, to have to worry about them confirming because in, in a lot of cases they may not want to confirm or they may not get the email might have went into their spam so you want to make sure that the confirmation email is off so this way every time a subscriber adds their information into your uh, Aweber form which you're going to see I'm going to show you how to create a form then you could go ahead and uh, you want to definitely go ahead and shut off that subscribe to um, approval so I'm gonna show you how to shut that off if you scroll down here actually I'm gonna show you how to shut this confirmation email off okay so you're gonna just approve message and create list okay once you do that you're gonna go here to where it says list options okay and then uh, you, you're gonna go to list settings okay a drop box will come out here click on list setting I'm gonna show you how to shut off the um, confirmation email okay so once you're 
at the list options, you're gonna click confirm opt-in. You click on that. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna see where it says required opt-in on web form, okay? So you wanna go ahead and click that, make sure that's on off and it's gonna say, are you sure you want to disable confirm opt-in uh, uh, for web form submissions? You're gonna click yes. You want that off because if you don't shut it off, um, when somebody opts into your page, they're not going to receive unless they confirm, which you don't want to, uh, you know, bank on that. You want to just make sure it's off so this way you can continue to send emails to them after the first opt-in. So after you do that, save changes. Okay, very important to click save changes. If you don't, it's not going to save it and you're not going to get the, um, then they're going to have to um, confirm the opt-in. Okay, so pretty simple. Once that's done we're going to create a sign up form so you're going to click sign up form okay the sign up form is basically when you start posting your ads that is where your prospect is going to fill out a form so you can get their information their email name and phone number so you can follow up with them okay so once you have the sign up forms you're going to click on create your first sign up form okay so when you get to this page you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and you're gonna create a, a form okay so what you want to do is you don't, you don't want to pick this one this is too plain and blank okay so you want to click on show more um, usually I go to where the money one is okay you click on that and you'll see different ones that you can choose from okay um, I'm gonna just go with this one for uh, example purposes okay load template and that's going to place that right there okay so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, click on where it says edit header you want to go ahead and place something on write something there on the top now if you if you know how to play around with the you know the, the font size and change the colors and make this all nice and pretty you can you can do that I'm just going to show you a basic uh, of what you should put on your form and you know just to make it nice and simple all right so uh, what what you want to do is because this is the form where the the prospects that are people that are looking for work from home uh, this is the form they're gonna fill out so you want to put on the top of the form something like work from home representatives needed work from home representatives needed now you could highlight this a little bit maybe make it a little bigger oh I just made it smaller make it bigger uh, let's go with that okay that's that should be fine maybe make it bold okay and then on the bottom apply below okay something like that and if, you know if you want to be creative and put something yourself that's fine now you want to open this up to make it look more you know move that a little bit okay let me actually move that over bigger All right, something like that should be fine all right, but if you know how to play around, go ahead and play around with that, okay? Make it, you know, nice and professional looking, all right? Now, it's got the field for the name and the email, so you also want to create, come on the top left here, and you create a new field. You want a phone number in here, okay? Definitely very important to get their phone number, okay? You could just type in phone, okay? And that will put in a phone field. You don't have to check any of these boxes if you don't want that's fine okay alright so you also want to um, move this over to the you could edit this and I'm just gonna type in click here to apply okay now you can move this to the middle a little bit you could actually make this a little bigger too just bring that up make that a little bigger so yeah, it's a little bigger and make it put it to the middle okay whoops let me just fix that okay that's better 
Work from home representatives needed. Apply below. Okay, click here to apply. And that's it, okay? Like I said, if you want to play around with it a little bit, you can look at some other forms, all right? But I'm just showing you a basic here, okay? So you go ahead and say, make sure you save your form and then go to the next step, okay? Basic settings, you just want to type in here, work from home, okay? Don't check on this Facebook integration because what happens is people are going to have to log in or put in, uh, it's going to link to the Facebook. You don't want that. Just you want their basic information. Uh, sometimes people get confused and they won't fill out the form correctly. So leave that off. Do not check the Facebook. All right. Now you're going to go ahead and, and, and put in your thank you page, like your landing page, the page that's going to bring your prospects to the video presentation after they fill out the form, which is going to bring them to this page. This is the landing page that has the presentation. Okay, so you're going to be all set up with this. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you exactly how to get to to getting this link and putting it into your thank you uh, your Aweber form here. Okay, so what you're going to do from this point is you're going to go. You're going to open up another window. Keep this window open. Very important, so you can come back here. You don't lose track. Keep this window open and open up another window. So hopefully you know how to open up another window. If you could open up another window, you're going to go ahead and uh, go to www.keymarketingnetwork.com. Okay, keymarketingnetwork.com is going to bring you to the Key Marketing Network login page. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and log in. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on where it says Capture Pages, okay? On the left-hand side here, Capture Pages. Now, when you get here, you were looking for View Landing Thank You Pages, okay? We're looking for um, the page where the video presentation is, okay? So you click that, and you're going to look for it down here. Now, it's the one with the the stripes here the red and gray stripes on the side and it says your content here so it, I, I, the video that you're watching right now it's on the left hand side this might move occasionally so we're looking for this one so if it's not in the second row or third row just look for this exact page and once you click on it you'll see it's going to bring you right to the video presentation page okay so this is what we're looking for right here okay so what you're going to do is on the top left on in your browser in your web browser you're gonna see it's gonna say keymarketingnetwork.com forward slash cp2 dot php whatever and then here after the equal sign is your username okay so you need this link right here this is what you're grabbing you're gonna highlight this link copy it and you're gonna bring it back to the Aweber okay copy and bring it over to Aweber so what you're gonna do is where it says thank you page basic version you're gonna click this little drop tab you wanna make sure you uh, click on custom page okay so uh, you wanna click on the um, custom page use your own URL okay and then this is gonna pop up here enter your URL so you want to make sure you just take this HTTP out because when you highlight it and copy the link, it already has the HTTP. So paste that in there. Okay, and that's it. So that's in there. And what you're going to do is also, same thing here, already subscribe page. You want to go ahead and click that and click on custom page. Same thing. Take this out right here. Make sure this is nice and clear and then paste in your key marketing network link in there okay so both of these are in you're good you're gonna click on save your form very important to save your form okay once that's saved then you're gonna go ahead and go to step three okay and and that's it from this point your form is done okay you're gonna scroll down to the third option here where it says have Aweber host my form 
Okay, and you're gonna click on this, and it's gonna bring a drop drop box where there's the the Aweber link that brings people to your form. Okay, so you're gonna highlight this. You're gonna copy it, highlight it, and copy it. Then you're gonna log into your GoDaddy uh, site. You're gonna go to your GoDaddy.com, and you're gonna log in. Okay, and once you're logged in at your GoDaddy. Where you, where you purchased your domain you're gonna go where where it says it should say your name here on the top right you're gonna click on that and you're gonna look for manage my domains okay because you're gonna forward your link to your website address so it goes to your Aweber form page that you created and uh, and when they fill out the form it's gonna go to your video presentation Okay, so what you're gonna do is you I have several different domain names. So you're gonna look for the domain name that you chose. I'm just gonna click on uh, this for an example. Actually, I apologize. Do not click on the the Chimp Gold logo or the the link there. You're gonna click on this arrow here. Click on this arrow, and then you're gonna look for forward domain. Okay, so you click on forward domain okay then you want to go ahead and update forwarding or because I already have a domain in in there already a link in there yours might not look exactly like this page it might just say add a domain or update whatever it says you'll click on it okay and it's gonna bring you to a page like this okay you're gonna there won't be a link in there mine has a link so you'll see it should look just like this with no link inside and you're gonna go ahead and paste in that link that you took from the Aweber form. Now you don't want this two HTTPs. You want to remove that HTTP with the forward slashes and make sure it's just forms.aweber.com and the numbers here. Okay, don't have that HTTP here or it's gonna read error. Okay. And then um, you can keep this on permanent, forward only, and then you're going to edit, or yours might say update. Then it'll say currently processing, and you want to save it, and voila, that's it. Okay, you might have to give it like a, a few minutes um, before it actually activates, or it may even take a few hours. Okay, but it's usually pretty quick. What you want to do is go ahead and test it. Make sure everything is working properly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so what you do is you click on open up another window and you're going to type in your domain name, the domain name that you chose. I'm going to type in mine, www.topmoney123.ws. This is how you can test it. Okay. It should go directly to the Aweber form that you created. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to test it out. Just go ahead and you know put in your name. I'm just gonna put John Test. Put in your email. Okay, you don't have to put a phone number if you don't want. Okay, and then you're gonna click where it says click here for details or apply whatever you put. This is one of my other Aweber forms. You click that and it should go directly to this page the we pay daily the um, your landing page okay or whatever page that you're using at this time okay um, but most KMN members Z and Z should be going to this page okay so what you're gonna do if it goes to this page that's great you wanna test it out make sure that you click on below the video step one you wanna make sure that your referral ID numbers are in there Okay, so you click step one. It's going to bring you to the Z and Z page. Okay, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and make sure where it says you are being referred by your user ID. Make sure that's your number. Okay, if you don't see your number, go back to your key marketing back office and make sure you um, go into your personal information. I'll show you real quick. But I showed this in the other in the other video. Um, Go to key marketing, log in. This is if you don't see your ID number in there, your referral number. Log in. You're going to click on 
my personal info and this is where you want to make sure your Z and Z2 referral number is okay and then if you have the Z and Z big cash also make sure that's in as well after you enter that in make sure you hit save changes if you don't then your number's not gonna go in there okay so if your number is in there you check tested it out that's all good then you're set you're ready to go now you're ready to start marketing start posting ads so you can make money okay so what you're gonna do once again is go back into the key marketing I'm gonna show you where the training is you go back to the key marketing network.com you log in there and the first thing you're gonna do is start with KMN basic training videos okay if your sponsor requested to, to contact him contact your sponsor if it's you know late and you're ready to go right now just go ahead and uh, come here to where the training videos are okay and you can start going through the training videos okay so you want to click you want to get into our Facebook group that's important so you can communicate with all of us but you can get started right here by just watching all the basic training videos okay so that's it if everything is set and done you set up your marketing system you're good to go okay so at this point go ahead and set up your Aweber click on the link below this video sign up get your free trial um, I'm John Filippi I'm gonna sign off welcome to the team and looking forward to helping you make some really good money take care